Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's topic is dynamic meta tag panel for another user. Suppose if any another person is going to add meta tag for your site, then maybe he or she doesn't know about URL like index.php, about.php. He just know that that's the home page, that's about us, contact us page. So he or she may not know the exact URL. So for that, let me show you what I have created in previous video. I have created this add panel. So I'm going to change URL to a drop down here. So let me show you what I'm going to do in this video. So you can see there is a drop down with home about and contact us. So this one is I'm going to show you how you can do this in this video. So a normal person will know that there is a home page insight about us, contact us, career, etc. So for this page drop down, I'm going to create a table. So let's move to database. I have already one table that is meta tag. In previous video, I have shown you this. So now let me create one more table with name site pages, column first one is page ID going to be auto increment primary tree then another column page name where care page url where care page status where care then pass length of each 20 100 10 one more column page status by default going to be enable Now our table is created. So what I'm going to do is I'm defining a name to the URL. So let me show you by inserting some data. So for first one index.php give name home and for URL write index.php now for url index.php you have defined a name that is home so submit that then insert another for about give name about us url about.php insert third that is contact us name contact us and url contact.php so after that empty the meta tag table now let's move to meta tag add page so in that i'm going to change the url um, for URL, write select, change URL to page, give select name, meta tag URL, class form control, then include database.php. Now write query, select star from site pages where page status is going to be unable execute the query and fetch the results in while loop in loop write option and give value to option that is page id and display text page name hide input write one more option for select page and make field required let's check in browser refresh 
now you can see there is drop down with three options first choose home then pass all other fields dynamic tag and submit one row is inserted in database so if you will check in page source manual data is displaying as page url is changed to id so let's go and change that in query so in query join table meta tag with site pages on page id as page id is stored in meta tag table and url is stored in site pages so we need to join them two tables in veo pass site pages page url column now let's go and check in browser now it's taking from database add for another page about us pass all the fields and save it in database it is inserted so check about.php so this one is also taking from database so in this video i have shown you first one is create new table for site pages and in which you are going to pass url and page name and after that change in add meta tag panel and pass all the site pages and add meta tag in database after that display database using both the table so i hope this video is helpful to you please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching